This video is to show how to calculate transformation efficiency for the uh, bacterial genetic transformation experiment we did for uh, AP Biology. The first thing we're going to do is uh, understand, well, what is genetic transformation efficiency? Okay, so you need to understand that for transformation efficiency, what we mean is it's the number of transformed colonies. The transformed zones will be the green fluorescent, green glowing colonies of bacteria. The number of those per the amount of DNA that we spread on the petri plate. And we're going to measure the amount of DNA in microgram. So, how much DNA did we actually use? Well, to determine the amount of DNA that was spread on the, the transformation plate, that's the petri plate that had the LB slash AMP slash ERA. That stands for Luria broth, that's the food for the bacteria. AMP is ampicillin, that's going to kill all the bacteria that did not get transformed, didn't take up the new DNA. Uh, remember, the new DNA had a gene for ampicillin resistance and a gene for uh, producing the green fluorescent protein. And also, the uh, ERA stands for arabinose. That's uh, essentially the, the on switch for the uh, green fluorescent protein to, to be produced. Uh, that's the inducer uh, chemical that makes that gene active and starts to produce the protein by transcription and translation. So to determine how much DNA was spread on the plate, you need to know two things. First, you need to know the total amount of DNA that we started with, and then also what fraction of that DNA actually got spread onto the, to the LB AMP ARA plate, the transformation plate. So for the total amount of DNA that we started with, that's going to be the concentration of DNA in micrograms per microliter times the volume of DNA in microliter. Now we used 10 microliters of the p glowed plasmid DNA at a concentration of 0.08 micrograms per microliter. So if we multiply those two numbers together, the microliters divide away and we're left with 0.8 micrograms of DNA. So that's the total amount of DNA that we use. Now to calculate the fraction of that DNA that got spread onto the LB AMP ARA plate. The fraction of DNA that we used was the volume of the DNA uh, solution that got put onto the plate in microliters divided by the total volume uh, that was in the plus p glow tube. So if you remember right, for the experiment we actually measured out 100 microliters of the solution, uh, but the total amount in the tube was 510 microliters. The 510 microliters was because we had 250 microliters of the calcium chloride transformation solution. We also had 250 microliters of Luria broth, and we had 10 microliters of the plasmid solution. So if we take 100 microliters and divide that by 510 microliters, the fraction of DNA that we used was 0 0.1960784. Next, we need to calculate how much of the DNA got spread onto the LB AMP ARA plate. That's going to be the total micrograms of DNA that was in the tube times the fraction of the tube that we used. Well, we've already calculated that the total micrograms of DNA that we used was 0.8 micrograms. Well, we've already figured out that the total micrograms of DNA uh, in the tube was 0.8 micrograms. And the fraction of the tube that was used was 0 0.1960784. So doing that calculation, we get 0 0.15686 micrograms of DNA. So to calculate the transformation efficiency, now all we need to know is the number of transformed colonies. Now, if we have a colony, uh, that colony was descended from a single bacteria cell, so we can we can assume that uh, the number of transformed colonies equals the number of transformed cells that actually took up that new plasmid DNA. So we just need to count the number of colonies that are glowing, fluorescent green under UV light, and then divide that by the amount of DNA that was used. For example, let's say we had 22 colonies. We divide that by the 0.15686 micrograms of DNA. And that gives us a transformation efficiency of 140 transformants per microgram of DNA. And that's how you calculate transformation efficiency. 